let's fucking all right, let's do this. Wow, wait a curse on the wait about curse on the first minute. Why well, come game developers to Doug game design lesson plans? Turn based to combat RPG. It's not it's more than just turn based combat. Because I'm gonna actually show how to go between worlds, interact with NPCs, that whole deal. <clears throat> Right now, I'm just getting the Patreon set up because part one is going to be the only free one. Um, speaking of the part, is part one going to be the only free package update as well? Well, okay, so let me show off how the Patreon works. Uh, let me get rid of that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. So the tiers that I'm thinking, oh come on, fine, save the tier. Uh, so I'm just going to do two tiers. The videos that will just be that will only happen. You're going to do live streams. I, I'll think, I'll think about that. But like, I'll still, I'm still setting this up. But all access Patreon past the five dollars here. That's the, that's the one that'll have like all updated packages and shit like that. So let's get some characters going. So how many characters are gonna grab? Four. Are they gonna be? Uh, they're not gonna. They're not gonna matter much. I mean, what? So how will the turn-based combat actually work? Will we have an inventory system? Um, I was hoping to save that for. Um, I was hoping to save that for when we do the Dark Souls clone, but I mean, like, if people want, like, if comments, if you want to comment saying that you need to have an inventory system, I mean, we could do it. It's not going to be that difficult. Um, seeing as how the turn based combat is going to be a lot, is going to be heavily menu focused anyway. So, uh, comment and subscribe for more, um, because it's not just this. I'm going to be doing the, the whatchamacallit, nah. Rail shooter, yeah, the rail shooter's coming back, but that's gonna be free. That's not gonna be. You don't have to pay for that one. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Yeah, I'll grab this character. Download this bit. Uh, T pose, sure. They're having wow, well, way to turn base RPG. Why not do the uh, archer? Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. So I guess this guy can be an enemy. Oh, okay. And he'll just have guns. Uh, did you mention timestamps? Yeah, they're gonna be in the beginning of the video. Alright, just double checking. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go to documents. In a new folder, because this is gonna be UE5 stuff. <sighs> of course, it's gonna take forever and goddamn day to make UE5. Make a new folder? Yeah. RPG stuff. I'll just call this one Enemy 1. Oh my god, it is take- why are you taking so long? Oh, fuck you. <sighs> enemy 1. And I'll just have this enemy doing all sorts of- He'll just have either- he'll have, um, he'll have a- I'll just say for me, um, gun guy. You do realize guys in, ca in caps. Yep. So let's give this dude an anima some animations. What kind of animations are we gonna, are we gonna, like, do a ton? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Like, we can do, you know, I'll just give, the, I'll just do the shooter pack. So if anybody wants to, I'll do the, where's the professional, where's the pro shooter pack? Nothing. 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 Uh, okay. Pro. Oh, for God. Pack. Wow, this tutorial is... This, this lesson plan is going off with a real smooth like. <laughs> Shut up. Uh... There we go. Pro rifle pack. Let's give him that. Let's take that animation set. That's a shit lot of animations. Well, yeah. We're gonna get the pro melee pack. We get the pro. Oh, we're gonna get a shit load of pro stuffs. Pro magic pack. Pro monster pack. We're gonna have a monster and a couple of other characters. Might as well. Are we gonna. Why don't you just pause the recording at this point? Um. Well, let's just make the thing. Uh, instead of my project, I'm just gonna this turn based. RPG. It's gonna be blank. Yeah, it's gonna be blank. We're gonna f we'll fill it up ourselves. We'll fill.
fill it up with our seed, baby. Okay. So, once this is done making, I'll pause the video here. Are you gonna have intermissions again? Not really. Well, maybe. I'll think about it. Either way, um, uh, let's pause the video here, and then we will get back to, because this is just all set up. Okay. Pause in the video. Okay, so I got, like, a ton of animations and stuff like that. Alright, so that means we need to... Now, there is a reason why I added an empty pro... Uh, I made this project blank. Mainly because, well, we don't necessarily need a lot of stuff. Because we are we are going to add a content or a feature pack. Mike. Uh... Beef. Just a third person. Huh. Well, why didn't you just add it from the, from the, from the start? From the jump? Um, mainly because I wanted people to know that you can still add content packs. Didn't you show them in the, in the pre- I don't think you showed them in the previous video, in the UE5 videos. Nope. Okay. So, let's go to, uh, let's go to content, or rather, well, third, the third person. Let's go to maps. And let's open the, the example map. Why? Oh, because this will be our overworld. Uh, we don't need, we technically don't need him. Okay. We just needed, we just needed the controls. And it would be, well, like, what I mean, here's what I mean. Because this character, this third person character, uh -huh. he's going to act as our overworld character. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Ah. How do I do that? Well, first I gotta anchor this here. So, uh, we're basically gonna override this character with our own. And we're gonna set it up so that way, if you don't wanna play as this character, you don't have to. Okay. So what, can we, like, set the skeleton up and stuff like that? We're gonna add skeletons. Oh, okay. Oh, like we're doing with, um... Like we're doing with the multiplayer shooter. Okay. So let's add a folder. We call this mesh. And then... Here... Add a new folder. Let's we'll call this P-char. For player character. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's, uh... I'll just call this knight. Uh, Archer. I think I only have three. I'll just say magic user. Magic user. Um, under mesh. Folder. Enemy. An enemy will have its own stuff. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with enemy later. Right now, let's go with the archer. So. We need to import, so let's go to import. Uh, oh, right, documents. Let's go, give me five stuff. PG stuff, player character. Oh, fluffer nutters. What happened? Um, I'm an idiot that forgot to extract the stuff. Ow, oh, well, you are an idiot. Yes, I am, thank you. So let's give me five, RPG stuff. All right, everybody, welcome back. You imported a shitload of animations. Yep. And we're gonna save it all. Serious? Yeah. Why? I don't want, uh, cause I don't want it to crash. Either way, we're gonna be moving on to the third segment, which is, now, in order for the, how the overworld character will work is, essentially, in our first person character, we're gonna add those skeletal meshes, all of them. And then they're each gonna have their own animation blueprint. Uh, so we're so we're gonna need to make uh, a full 3D anim movement. Ow! Oh shit! Yeah. So that means will I will I will I strafe? Mm, not really. Ow. Can I? There's no point in having it strafing. There's why would you want it to strafe? This isn't a shooter we're, we're making. Ow. Okay. So we're gonna be making it with this. Let's start with the pirate. I'm going to go to animation. Let's go to. Do I want to do blend space 1D or full 3D blend space? Let's do blend space 1D because full 3D blend space it actually involves um, strafing and shit like that. So we're fine with blend space 1D. Ah, okay. So I'm going to use the the uh, the pirate first. I'll just say I'll I'll call this pirate B, uh, blend space 1D. All right. Uh huh. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need 
uh, an idle walk run. So let's. So in this search bar, I'm going to type in idle. Uh, we want sort and shoot idle one, two, or three. Uh, yeah, I wish that the preview would. Oh well. Let's try that. Uh. 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 Let's check out idle two. Okay, what about idle three? And idle four. Let's do that one. Idle four. Okay, so how do we go back? Uh. Boop, boop, boop. I think it's nope. Nope. I just went to the physics skeleton like an idiot. Oh well. So. Oh, good. Sorry. Sorry. Animation skeleton. Da 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 da. Uh, no. Eh, the, not the end of the world. I can just go back and double-click on that. So instead, we can highlight that, and we can delete it. And we take idle four because idle look four looks the best to me. Doesn't matter. So that's the character. Yeah. Wait, why is the cloak? Well, because it's one side. Obviously, the cloak thing's one sided. Ah, okay. When we have like armor and weapon sets, we can do that. Like I can show that. Like, I'll show off how to do that as well. Um, if you guys want to like do a shopping, bit. switch out the sword, switch out the shield. That's not impossible to do. Uh, we just literally attach them. We attach it and then just fuck with the visibility. Ah. So let's look for a walk. Uh, uh, let's do that. Nope. That's walking backward. It's walking forward. Ah, uh, we need to do something about that. Yes, we do. So, in here, what we can do... Uh, nope. We can... Uh, return. Nope. Preview. Nope. Nope. How do we... Fuck with it. Un under root motion. I was, I was wondering where that section was. In root motion, you want to enable root motion. You want to set that up. Now, it still kind of looks weird, but like in reference pose, you can do it from first frame. Okay, at least there's that. Yeah. Isn't there a way we could do it? Like, can we just re download the, the thing? Well, we could. The problem with that is, it just. Yeah. We'd have to go to Mixamo, tell it to just, just stick with the first frame, and that that's that's a that's a hassle and a half. Okay. So, we need walk one. And we just plug that into here. And we could just hold down the shift key, and as you can see, moving the mouse, we can see the walk happen. Now we need to run. I'm gonna take run one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there we go. And run one, we have to do the same thing. Under, where is root, root, enable root motion. From, uh, what happens if you put it zero? That, ow. Yeah, you can. This 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 other checkbox, the root lock. You can do that for additional, for additional stuffs, for additional um, root motion stuffs. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't look bad. Uh, it does. It can backfire on you, so be aware of that. Okay. So now we go scroll up to our one space one D and we're basically done here so yeah, we, can, we can close out of this now we can make an anim blueprint what did I call it pirate okay so under animations we need animation blueprint it's gonna ask for a skeleton we need the pirate one and that's you click OK and we just say pirate anim BP we click we hit enter Okay, so we're gonna need a couple. Th well, for starters, we're gonna we're gonna take the result, drag this out, and type in default the uh, slot default slot. What's a default slot for? So we can use uh, anim montages. Ah. And then from here, from source, we drag that out and type in uh, state. We add a new state machine. Okay. So we tell it. Uh, fuck! I shouldn't have done that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let me go back and add a graph. Set a new state machine. I'm going to rename this. Uh, I'll just say Pirate. Uh, overworld State Machine. 
a long list. Yeah, I know. So under entry, I want to drag this up. We want to add a state. And the state, I'll just call it um, uh, default. Wow, that, uh, can you change the, um, the, the, the color? I can do that in uh, settings. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll take care of that later. All right. We double click. We need an animation. Now it's looking for a reference pose. Technically speaking, you can just type in walk and just do that. Really? Yeah, you can actually have a, uh, an animation if you want, but but we need our anim uh, blend space. So we need our pirate blend space 1D. Okay, so what's this? This none. Basically, it's it's we need our speed. So so it's based on zero to our max walk speed. So that's what it, that's what it's looking for. So I'll just uh, drag that out and type in promote to variable, and I'll just call this speed. Now, how does that fit in? How does speed get into here? So in our event graph, right? I'm gonna try to get the pawn order. Um, so we'll need a player class, and then from there we basically get the vector length, uh, get the velocity and the vector length, and then we can set that from speed to speed. So, how do we do that? For starters, I'm gonna con I'm gonna click on the I'm gonna highlight this dude. I'm gonna hit Control B. I'm gonna make a copy of him. So this will be our NPC, and I'm just gonna just say uh, play P character P char overworld, and I'll just save them both. I'll save them all. Save, just save them down. And in our pirate BP, we could just say. Drag this out. Player. We cat. Uh, no, not player. P char. Doug. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh my god. We cast that out. All right. Plug that in. From there, we try to get pawn owner. We get velocity, and it's and it's returning. A vector, but we can't have it return a vector. We want it. We want it to. We want to float. So we want to get the vector length. Uh, so we just type in vector length, which gives us our vector, which gives us a float, which is what we want. And then we take our speed, plug it into here, and then plug this into you. We don't get the velocity from this thing. We can't get the. We can't get the velocity. We, technically speaking, we can. Why don't we just do that? Because you're t you're already doing that when you're trying to get the fucking pawn owner, and seeing as how it's already associated with this class, fuck it. Ow. Oh. Oh, okay. So if we compile, we're good to go. However, we can. Oh, you can save always on compiling. So I'm going to do that now. Must have updated while I wasn't looking. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now we have to do the same thing with the other characters. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. How do I do that? So, obviously I'm gonna have to go through the mesh, but you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to go through the mesh. I will go here, and then I will go here, double click, to, I just want to double click, I want to open. I can, I can, so, yeah, now! Control B. There we go. Because I'm in the Anim BP as, anyway. So now I can just go into fourth person. I mean, not fourth person, player character. And do this again for the archer. Do we wanna keep doing, do you wanna pause the video? Not for this. Oh, really? Yeah, no, because this one, yes, it's repetitious, it's redundant, but it's important that the, but this is basically hammering it into their heads, so I'm okay with this. Can we at least fast forward? No, I'm not fast forwarding. Ouch. shit. Well, I can just go to the timestamps, fuck you. Anyway, so one space one D. We need yeah, we need Erica the Archer. And I'll just call this Archer Blend Space One D. Okay, so we'll need our idle. Uh, mm, mm. That's good. So idle one. Grab that. Scroll up here. Put idle one. We need a walk. Walk forward. Let's, um. Yeah, let's do that one. Do 
enable the root motion. And then we first frame it. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, nothing. Alright, that's fine. Scroll up. One space. Do that. And finally, we run. Uh, no, I think it's just. Yeah, that's good. Root motion enabled. First frame. And again, you can do this if you want. But we're done here. One space. Grab, we grab you. Plug that in. Let's see the shift. We're good. So now we need to add our blend. Uh, our our, bleep, our bleep, Wow. Archer Adam Blue uh, Adam BP. Adam BP. And like before, we need our default slot, so that way we can play anim montages. And then here, we state machine this bitch. Um, archers, archers, state. Fuck it. Really? Yeah, fuck it. If they want to do a renaming, they could do it on their own time, not mine. Anyway, so we add a state, and we just say uh, overworld. And like before, grab this archer, one space, we promote this to a variable, and we say speed. So we're good to go on that, we go to event graph, we say pchar. You're putting it in the same class. So like I said, we are going, this is strictly for the overworld character. Alright. Get vect uh, get velocity vector vector length and then from there we get the speed. How will getting the speed so how will this update? What do you mean how will this update? How will this update? Um, you do realize the event blueprint anime atom update, right? Mm -hmm. It's via every tick. Oh, Oh shit! Yeah, it's every tick. This is a this is essentially a tick event. So it's uh, so it's constantly updating. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so you're already compiled. So you're good. <clears throat> now we go back into. I'm gonna hit Control B. I'm gonna go to Pchar. The fourth person. We do the knights. And under Paladin. We have we do the thing we do the same thing we did twice before. Blend space, we go paladin, and I'll just say paladin in blend space one D. Okay, so we need an idle. Uh, what's standing idle look like? What about you? Well, that is overworld. Still. Mm. 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 Yeah, alright, I'll use that one. Oh, Baladin! Let's grab that. Now we need to walk and run. Yeah, that's good. So let's enable the root motion here. Make sure it's from zero. Let's go up here. Plug that plug that in. Runtime uh, forward. That looks like a merry prance. Right. Uh, what about you? Oh God, it's the same fucking thing. Yo! Oh, okay. that that's better. That is better. I will do that one. Uh, so let's move back up here. Let's do that. And then plug this in. Oh, this is a lot of repetition. I really wish you could ah uh, just skip this. No. Uh, that said paladin. So this is Paladin Blunt. Uh, Paladin MMBP. 
Like it or not, this is necessary. They need this kind of repetition. Uh, just engraves it into their into their skulls. Uh, so we need a state machine. Cause sometimes you can have a brain fart, and yeah, that that has happened. What do you mean? Um, well, there were times where I, even I was all like, "Shit, how do I, how do I get the vector length again?" Really? Yeah. This is the best of us. So this way, they can. Practice makes uh, practice makes perfect. Repetition is very good in this case scenario because it helps you master the craft. So that was an accident. Let's put you back here. <laughs> ah. All right. So, PHR. Plug this in. Uh, velocity. And then vector length. And then we get the speed, plug that in. So when will uh So when will the whatchamacallit be available? What do you mean? Um are the packages gonna be uh for this? Is it gonna be free you know? <sighs> I'm still debating on that. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that I need? You did three of the four characters. Okay, so that means I need... Did I not magic user? I don't think I did the magic user. So... Alright then, we need this guy. Land space 1D. Yeah, Ganful. I'll just... Ganful. Blend. Space. Um, what happened? Uh, probably... I'll take care of that now. What the fuck happened? Don't worry. I... I that, that's a worrying thing. It's... The... Where are the fucking... It's... Is this the body? Yeah. I just made it translucent. Why? Did it fuck you up for me? I don't know why they did that by default. It happens sometimes. Really? Yes. The fuck was that? I, again, it just does that by... Wow, he kind of looks like a... He kind of looks like Demon Terminator. I think you should make that dude an enemy. Mm, nah. Demon Terminator. God, imagine the Terminator singing karaoke. <laughs> Why would you... I mean, what the hell would he karaoke? I bless the rains down in Africa. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. That was amazing. Not really. Shut up. Uh. Let's not. Oh, that's crouch. We need standing walk forward. So let's plug that in. Let's go in here because we need to go to the root motion. Enable the root motion. And from first pose. And while we're at while we're here, let's do the same thing. Run. Boop boop. Doop. And shnoop doop Now let's go to Gar. And let's take the run. And we're done here. So we go here. Animations. There it is. Like, oh god, did I put it in the other folder? Fine. Uh, animation. And blueprint. And it's. Ganful. So, Ganful MVP. Let's do default slot. And then, let's add a state machine. Let's do that. We add a state. Oh, let's do default. Just fuck it. And double click. We type in Ganful. Ganful employment. And then we promote this. We'll call this speed. We're good to go. Nice. There you come. Uh, there we go here. Plug this into PCHAR. Plug that in. We get vector. Oh my god. A velocity, not vector length. See what I mean? Uh, drip out. Ow. Vector. 
And then we set the speed up. Stupid. Snibbity bap ba doop, baby doop. And we're good. Nice. Now that we have our characters set up, let us begin with customizing Peachar. We don't need you open. We don't need you open. We don't need you open. No, no, no. No, and no. We're going to save all. I'm going to highlight this dude again. It was already highlighted. Yeah, but control B. So now we go to Peachar. You can right click and just replace actor. Yes, we can replace actor and move Peachar. So let's do that. Let's go and double click. So there are things we gotta, uh, wait, 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 hold on. That was an accident. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. A job done. I know. So anyway, in here, so there's some things we gotta get rid of. Such as, we don't need jump. Ow. And we don't need, we don't need this. Because we don't have any mobile shit that we're doing. And movement input. We're fine with that. Most fine with that. Uh, the reset orientation position is for VR. Fuck that. Gamepad input. Yeah, we're good with that. Okay. So we go into our viewport. First character on our list. Uh, let's go here. Uh -huh. and instead of a mannequin. Uh, fine. Pirate. What? Why is the pirate so goddamn small? Well, ideally, that's what you want to do. See, so uh, video game. Well, first let's let's skip the pirate the animal class. Pirate. Ideally, that's what you want to do. You want to keep the character. You want to try to make the characters as small as possible. Why? We've been over this. See, we've been over this when we started talking when we did um, while we were doing our multiplayer shooter. See, the bigger something is. If it's life size like this, right? Mm -hmm. The bigger something is, the longer it takes the, to render. The longer it takes to render, the more space it's going to take up on your hard drive, mm -hmm. and uh, the more time it takes to render. That also can mean uh, buffering, lag, that whole shit. Ow! Well, how the hell are we going to get another character in here? The fuck do you mean how? Get, what do you mean how? How? It's, a, it's the you fucking add skeletal mesh. Skeletal mesh, you could call it whatever. I'll just call it, like, fucking night person. And then, like, here, you just go paladin, and then you just give it the fucking paladin thing. But how come his, his, but how come his skeleton's not, like, super small? Because it's Mixamo. This was, this was when Mixamo first came out, dude. Like, this skeleton's hella old. Yeah, the Black Knight dude from fucking, um, that I put in Ensign Shooting. Let's do something about the scale. Uh, let's turn that off for a second. There we go. So I can make him roughly the same height. Turn this back on. So how are we going to differentiate? Well, for starters, let's make this dude invisible. Uh, bup bup. There. There. Now we do the same with the other characters. Oh, really? Yes! That's all there is to it! And I don't want you to... Hold on, first thing from... Uh, uh, Gar... Gar, or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, let's not have him be a child. By default, this is going to be the center of attention. So Garn is going to be Garn, or whatever the fuck his name is. Da -da 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 Gan... Whatever. Why is he so big? Oh, shit, I did not mean to scale. I did not mean to scale. I meant W. W to move. W means move. Uh, he is a he is a tall bastard, isn't he? Actually, you know what? Let me undo, undo. Why? Uh, I'll just scale them all. Into... Oh, okay. Yeah. 
We'll take this dude 90 degrees. Make sure that his Venom class is gaw. There we go. And we have to set this visibility to invisible. There you are. And then we have one more. Uh, add. Skeletal mesh. Skeletal mesh. Skeletal mesh. And Archer. Let's make you. Well, I gotta see how big the Archer is, so I need to have visibility. Ugh. Archer. Why are you talking like that? Because I want to. I mean, if I wanted to, I could talk like the college school girl, and uh, th I'm, that's who I'm sounding like while well, I'm sick anyway. Uh, like, oh my god, what the fuck? That is so gorgeous and big, and it's overriding every sense of the body. And, wow, she's got big lips, and her eyes look so dead, don't they? I don't, the overriding is really weird. Can you turn off the visibility? Fine. <laughs> that mirror did... Does this pirate have a mustache? Hey, isn't this pirate female? I don't know. We're fem oh no. Well, I can't even tell my genders apart. Obviously, I need to go take an eight weeks uh, correspondence course on what the fuck to... Anyway. So, how do I toggle the visibility? Okay, so, right now, if... Well... Okay, so if you want to toggle the visibility, let's do that right now. We could just say, let's have a variable and say visit check. Visit check. And we'll make this an integer. An integer. And we have between zero and three. Right now this is zero. right now this default character will be zero. Okay. So we need to let's Let's do this. Uh, let's have a. Let's just type in. Q key. Let's just do Q key. If we press it, we're going to take visit check. We're going to get it, right? We're going to see if it's equal to. And we'll just say. We'll say if visit check is equal to 3. We branch it and we'll branch this out. For those who are wondering how to branch, hold down the B for Bravo key, boom, and left click. Plug this in. Uh, okay. If it's if it's false, we take this, we control W to duplicate, and we just add one to it. Add one, and then we set it. I'm just gonna hold down Alt, click, drag it out with visit uh, while I while I was over visit check. Bloop. And then from there, I could take that out. I'll type in switch on int. Let's add a pin, add another, add another, and add another. And then we take that out. So what do we do here? Essentially, we're gonna, on zero, we're gonna get the mesh, and we're gonna say visibil uh, toggle visibilities. Sorry, toggle. Toggle visibility. Ugh. Toggle visibility. And then we basically do the same thing. Toggle visibility. Ugh. You know what? I don't like that. Why? Something inside me is just saying I don't like that. To set visibility. Set. We'll just say new visibility. Because you could do the same thing with toggle, but whatever. Maybe that was one of the differences in UE4 and 5. Uh, so we get this. And we control W this. Uncheck this box. So that way it's hidden. And we do the same thing with this. And the archer. So that said, on one, 
we take the knight. Ooh, sorry. I meant to control W there. And that's new visibility. And everything else gets invisible? Yep. So. So control W that. Let's move this up. Move this up. Move this down. Move this over into visible. And someone's yelling in my hallway because my apartment complex, everybody. Move this up a little. I am just, I'm just cleaning this up a little. And let me just move this up a little. So, uh, some two. So what's after that? Garn. Okay, so Garn's up next. So that means we toggle the, we set the visibility. Yep. So we take this. Control W. Blue, blue protein. Glamzies. Uh, actually, you know what? Instead of equal three, let's say greater than three. Wow, your apartment complex, you are not lying. Hmm. And then we get this. Control W. We delete this. Why? Um, because we need night in there. All right. Yeah. So bam, zoos, shtabam. I said bam, zoos, shtabam. And finally, we need to set the visibility one more time, but this time with the archer in mind. Right. Take that. Plug. And then plop. Shtabam. And now. We need to set the visibility again. And this time I need mesh. Plug this in to target to that. Okay, so that's if it's um, if it's not greater than three. If it is greater than three, so what we want so what we'd like to do is we want to set visit check back to zero uh -huh. and then we plug it into here <sighs> yeah 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 that's about it compile now we go back here we're not done we have to do one more thing which is what we need to possess Ah, can't we do that in, like, world outlier? Well, we can, but let's not for now. Let's just go, uh, where are you? Open level blueprint. There we go. And right click, type in event, begin play. So on begin play, what we want to do is we want to grab a reference. We want to right click. If you, we highlight this, right? Uh-huh. Right click, and we'll grab a reference. We'll create a refer reference. And then what we need to do is we want to right click again. We want to get player controller. Right? Uh huh. And drag that out and type in possess. It's asking, okay, what do we possess? We possess this character. So we plug, plug that in. We compile. And then we play this. Um, why is the run? That's uh, something I gotta look into. Hit Q. And Q didn't work. Hmm. Alright. First and foremost, let's get started. Let's look into the run. Da -da 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 -da. I'm pretty sure I forgot to do something. Uh, something to do with the run, doesn't it? Run. Space one D. Let's show the names. Oh, you're using run two. Why is it using run two? I don't want you using run two. Why do you want you run one? So let's fix that. Well, at least that's. Uh, let's save all. Now we need to see. Let's try. I said snow. Yeah. What? 
Why is that? I have no clue. And Q isn't responding. Uh, let's, well, let's create a key uh, setting then. Let's go to project settings. And let's go into input. Input, there you are. I want to go into action mappings. I want to add a key. And this is the, the I'll just call this character switch. Char switch. And this will be Q. And while I'm at it, let's go here. Let's go to the other run. Enable root motion. The, the. The. Save. Save all, save all. And let's go here. Let's delete that. And just say char switch. Char switch. Plug that in. By default, this is zero. Good. Yeah, it's better than this one. So, hold on. Let's, uh, let's print a string. Just for safety's sake. Should be running. Okay, that thing is acting. Huh. Okay, let's go into here, and let's convert, let's convert that. Uh, shouldn't it be after the math? No. Okay, so... Oh! You forgot to add one. Jesus, Doug, you fucking moron. Oh my god. Ugh. Great way to advertise that Patreon there. Shut up. So, one. 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 Good then. Now let's take this out. Let's just say greater than or equal to three. Because that greater than bit was intentional. Yeah, because you, uh, yeah. Why was it intentional? Because if you hadn't noticed, you had to hit three, what, four times? So, what, but, 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 but. Why is that skeleton, why are these skeletons acting so fucking weird? Hmm. Over there. And then let's go one forward. Forward. Fine, I'll force the. Uh, I'll do that. Save. Is that from the. That's weird. So you have to force the lock? Looks like it, huh? That is not a run. That is just a stride. I know. That run looks so fucking stupid. This run looks so stupid. This run, it's just like. It's not even running. It's just like a. A brisk power walk. Well, at least we got this out of the way. I guess, but we're gonna have to do the same with the other characters. Boom and boom. Um, do you wanna do that now? Yeah, I might as well. Let's, do, let's finish this off. Garn. Let's go here. One space. Which one are we using? Run forward. Okay. So run underscore forward. Do do. Let's force this lo root lock. Save that down. PCP. Get, uh, let's do the archer. The doit. And then kablam. And you are. Wait, what was it called? Run forward. Okay. Run forward. Yeah, that's that one. Save that down. Let's play. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, then. Boom. 
Boom, 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 boom. Awesome sauce. Mmm. Excellent. But no jump command. There is no need for a jump command in a in an RPG like this. Can we at least have a fall? I, I guess we can do that. But that'll uh, that but yeah. And then here narrator. And there really? Ah, uh, do you wanna at least do the blueprint bit? The combat arena? I'll show off how to do uh where we we can start on that. So we're gonna need a folder. I'm gonna call this game VP. And this is gonna have uh and here I'll just have uh, I'll use a blueprint uh, class. Uh, I'll have all classes, but that's just for my personal preference. And actor, I'm just gonna say combat arena. So how will the combat arena work? So we need we'll have a static mesh. That'll be our scenery and all that shit. Really? Yeah. So we'll need uh, components. Add static mesh. I said st fuck you. Add static mesh and. Uh, the static mesh will it be? I'll just use this one. Scale this down. Scale it down with these two. And we'll have to spot. We'll have to have the characters in their atom states, and then from there we'll have a menu system. Da -da 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 -da. Oh really? Yeah. All right. Um, but, yeah, we're, the, that's just the preview bit. Um, either way, end it here, narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Uh, help you have the, hope you have fun with the free bit. Tune in next time for Dad Teachers. Part 2 should be out by now, right? Yes. Okay. See ya.